Hey y'all, it's Mitch with Guitar Town Guns. Welcome to Wednesday Gun Day. And as you can see here, we have a Glock case. Alright, well now let's take a look inside and see what we've got here. This is the new Glock 43 single stack 9mm. Excellent. Um, this is not my gun, this belongs to a friend of mine who just bought it. And he was kind enough to let me borrow it and um, take a few shots through it and do a video. Um, we got uh, three extra of the finger extension mags plus the one regular mag. And it comes with all the regular Glock shit that's in the box that nobody really cares about. Um, today we are going to be shooting some PPU 9mm Luger. That's probably about the cheapest, crappiest ammo you can buy. And then we have some Lelier and Bellet, or however that's pronounced. Uh, that's some pretty good ammo. And then I just picked up about uh, nine, maybe ten rounds um, of crap on the ground here from the range. Uh, a bunch of various crap. And we're going to see if the gun shoots that. I actually have one hollow point here, which is, uh, looks like a Hornady critical defense. Um, so. We're going to take a few shots with it, and we're going to see how the Glock 43 does. Hold on. Alright, here we go. Glock 43. Um, I've got uh, two magazines full of the uh, PPU, and i got the target set up here about seven yards. I don't have a holster for the gun, so I'm just going to pretty much hold it and shoot it. Um, and we're going to see how it does. All right, so there's my group. I'm in the four inch hole. Got a couple of flyers right there on the line. Um, let me shoot another magazine. Forgive me, I'm out of here by myself, so let me uh, shoot another six rounds. Okay, that was the PPU, seven yards. I got one, two, three, four flyers outside of the four inch circle. I'm shooting a little left, um, interesting. Um, okay, let me paste these up and uh, we'll shoot the Lelier and Bellet, or I don't know, I can't pronounce that fucking ammo. Hold on. Well, there's a tractor going by. <laughs> we are out in the country. Um, now I've pasted up my uh, holes and we're going to shoot some lower millet. Um, I'm going to shoot a magazine, see what my group is, see if I can get a little bit better accuracy, and um, then I'm probably going to shoot maybe two uh, Mozambique drills. Uh, stand by.
Yeah, I'm gonna have to edit out a lot of this bullshit. Well, the early Roman bell it's, it's a little bit better. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Got a flyer up there. Still shooting left. I don't know if it's me or if it's the gun, but uh, let's uh, shoot another mag and see what happens. Hold on. Okay, for the next magazine, I'm going to shoot three double taps. I thought I was going to do Mozambique, but I'll do that later. I'm going to shoot three double taps because the magazine holds six rounds. And let's see what happens. Shooting a little low on the double taps. I know these two went at the same time and the rest of them were just all over the friggin' place, but you know, for a new gun, first time shooting it, I'm still within the 8 inch circle, but not doing so great with the 4 inch circle. Um, Alright, let's uh, shoot in the magazine of the uh, PPU. Okay, now I'm going to shoot three more double taps with the PPU ammo with one magazine's worth six rounds and see if I can do a little bit better. Um, the gun is pretty accurate. I think it's probably just me and the gun being new and whatever. It feels a little strange in my hand with the uh, the knot finger extension magazine and then the other one that's got uh, some sort of an extension feels a little bit better because I can actually get my hand around it. And you can see my hands are wide but I have short stubby little fingers. Um, so let's take a look with the PPU and see if we can get a little bit better of a group with three double taps. As you can see, you know, my pinky is off the uh, gun here, I mean, but still, it's not terribly bad. Ooh, I just muzzled you. You know, it feels pretty comfortable. Let's go see how we do. was even worse. One low flyer. But, hmm, it's gotta be me. Can't be the gun. Alright, hold on. Alright, now I'm gonna try to the chest, one of the head, twice, um, with the PPU ammo, uh, Mozambique drill. See how it goes. I'm gonna go real slow and make sure that I make my hits. Well, all four of my hot shot, heart shots made it in. 
Got him in the jugular. Missed the brain box. All right, I'm gonna do this one more time with the other type of ammo. All right, now two Mozambiques with the uh, Luller, Luller and Beloids or Lelier. I don't know. I don't know why I'm making such a big deal with this ammo thing because it's a fucking Glock, but we'll see how we do. Well, that was a little bit better. Got one flyer, but I hit my two brain boxes. And I'm gonna do a mag dump with the uh, lower and bloat and um, see how many I can get in that four inch circle. Okay, now I'm gonna fire six rounds as fast as I can, um, aiming for the four inch heart box and see how many I can get actually get in there. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I got one outside the box, one on the line, but still not bad. Uh, to the point where I'm gonna try this again. All right, I'm gonna put 12 rounds in this motherfucker uh, in the heart, and we're gonna see. I'm gonna go as fast as I can and see how my accuracy is with the mag change. <laughs> Not terribly good, but uh, got one up there. They're all in the eight inch circle. I've got one, two, three, four in the four inch circle. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know where the twelfth one went. Let me recount that. We got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I either reloaded wrong or I missed completely once. <laughs> Hold on. All right, I'm gonna get one more round. This is the scratch ammo that I actually picked up off the ground here on the range. Um, six rounds. Um, that last one was scratch ammo too. So I mean. Uh, the point being that um, picking rounds up off the ground is probably not a great idea, but the Glock shot them um, and it feeded them fine. Um, so I'm going to shoot two more strings of two to the chest, one to the head, Mozambique.
Not bad, but I've done better. Right, so there's one, two right here. Three, four, just outside the brain box here. Five, six. All right, I'm gonna try one more thing and then we're gonna uh, do a little talking about it. All right, for my next trick, uh, what I'm gonna do is here I have a, what looks like a Horner D critical defense, nine millimeter and 115 grain, a lower and below it, um, nine millimeter and 115 grain full metal jacket. And I believe this is a Remington UMC 115 grain jacket at hollow point. Uh, just kind of want to see, you know, if you can mix up ammo and the gun will still run. I'm pretty sure it will, but uh, I'm going to do two to the chest and one to the head, and then that will be it for shooting today. Okay, last shots of the day. I got a hollow point, a full metal jacket, and a hollow point. And I'm going to do two to the chest, one to the head, um, to see if it'll feed different types of ammo in, a, in the same magazine. Why not? There's my first one, there's my second one, and there's my third one. Missed the brain box, but it's just above it in the eyebrow or so. Ugh, that would that would still hurt. I have done better, but I'll take it. Alright, stand by and we'll talk about the gun for a minute. Okay, well the gun ran flawlessly. Um, things I like about it and things I don't. Um, Number one, I do not like the 6 plus 1 capacity. Um, other guns in this genre um, have a 7 plus 1 capacity like the Shield, uh, the XDS, uh, whatever. Um, but it is a Glock. Um, so there's that. Another thing I don't like is, you know, my finger not being on the uh, grip here. I don't like that at all. Um, I kind of do this one-handed here. Mags don't drop real easy, and that's a normal thing with guns being so small. Now, the one with the pinky extension is just enough to where you can get your pinky on the gun. Um, so that's cool. Um, it would be nice if it held an extra round. Uh, I'm sure there are some aftermarket things that will come out. Um, Pierce Plus One grips are great. Um, you know, you can get little weighted things to put on the bottom so the mags drop easier. But the problem the mag doesn't drop is because it's right in the middle of your hand, unlike a Glock 19. Um, so, you know, that's doable. Um, the concealability factor, you know, it would be easier to conceal with the flush magazine. And then you could just deal with it, I suppose, and get used to it. I mean, it's a training issue. Um, as far as how the gun the gun the gun ran the gun ran great um, wasn't as accurate as I would like it to be um, but I'm sure that's just me and it's probably not the gun um, it is a significantly smaller gun than the Glock 19 or the Glock 36 that I carry um, let's take a look at um, the reset all right there's the take up it's really not that much. The brake is crisp. The reset. I'm one pressing it while it's Let's show the reset here. The trigger's not as good as the trigger in my Glock 19, but it's still pretty good. Um, as most of you know, I'm a pretty huge fan of the Glock trigger. That's a pretty good reset. The travel. 
is a little bit more than my Glock 19. But all in all, it's a good, it is a good gun. Um, I would probably just go ahead and carry it like this. Now, who would buy this gun? Uh, you could buy this gun for a backup gun. I am a believer in backup guns, even though I don't currently have one. That's kind of why I'm looking for single stack nines and, you know, to carry a backup gun, whether it be ankle, appendix, whatever. Um, if you're smaller statured or a woman, this would be a great concealed carry gun to be carried in a purse or wherever. Uh, or if you're, you know, in summertime, it would be a good carry gun. Um, you know, because people wear significantly less clothing during the summer. So, all in all, it's a pretty good gun. Uh, one thing I don't like about it is the fact it's about a hundred more dollars than a shield. Um, is it better than the shield? Uh, I don't know. Most of you also know that I'm not a big fan of the shield, even though it has all great things except for the trigger. The trigger on the shield, in my opinion, is garbage. Um, and this trigger is far better than the shield. Now, whether or not I buy one of these, or whether or not I buy a shield, or whether or not I buy an XDS-9 um, 3.3 is yet to be seen, but uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, I would give the Glock 43, hmm, I'd give it an 8, even though it has the uh, lower capacity than other guns. This is Mitch with Guitar Town Guns. If you like the channel uh, or the video, please like and subscribe and all that other good business and stay tuned.